Hi friends! Today I'm going to talk about black spruce. Oh, so beautiful. Love the smell. Mm. And I'm going to talk about some of the top uses, where it's from, and what's happening with the black spruce. So specifically, what I, one of the things I love about black spruce is how it's sourced. So it's sourced in Canada, uh, specifically in the boreal forests or northern Quebec, and it is sourced very environmentally. So what happens is that these tall trees grow around 50 feet and the trunks are pretty big and they're used in the, um, the pulp, create wood and other, other things as well. But the leaves and, or the needles and branches, they don't have leaves, needles and branches were prior to, to this um, environmental sourcing they weren't used for anything. So there was a waste. What would happen is they would be composted, but they weren't able to compost because there were so, such these huge piles of the needles and, and uh, branches that they were becoming a hazardous waste. So instead, somebody came up with a great solution to create an essential oil out of this previously waste product which wasn't waste at all. Mm. And what they've created is a distillery that is actually attached to the pulp mill where they distill the needles and the branches and turn it into an essential oil and the steam, the leftover steam helps to power the mill. Isn't that cool? Okay, so this is how this essential oil is sourced, the black spruce, specifically doTERRA only partnership. FYI. If you're looking at other one, I have no idea how they're sourced. Uh, and that brings me to just a reminder whenever you're using essential oils that how they're sourced, it, it really, really has a huge impact environmentally uh, on the farmers and the people around there because most places that source essential oils don't have that kind of stewardship in mind. They just want the bottom dollar. And according to Aromatic Plant Research Center, over 90% of essential oils on the market are adulterated. And what that means is that they're cut with another substance. It could be a chemical, it could be another cheaper essential oil to make a higher profit, okay? Over 90% on the market. Yeah. Which is scary. <sighs> Even though this is sourced in Canada, it doesn't mean that the whole processing is a cheap labor or anything like that. So keep that in mind when you want to when you want to buy an essential oil, not only for your own safety, you want to know what's in the bottle, even though it might say pure blah blah, it doesn't mean it's real. I've seen some companies post supposed third-party testing where the third-party testing is you know, over six years old, and it's obviously not the batch number. Um, specifically for doTERRA, you can look at the bottom of the bottle and look up the batch number on source to you for the bottle that you have. It'll give you the third party testing for the, the oil that's in your bottle for that batch. So it's very, very transparent uh, thus far. I hope other companies will actually take this as seriously as doTERRA does, uh, but I have yet to see that. All right, hopefully more, more companies will take on that uh, safety and environmental um, stewardship in mind when they're sourcing essential oils. Okay, back to, and, and uh, of course for your safety, and what I mean by safety is that when we don't know what's in the bottle, uh, that could be unsafe to use. And I mean unsafe to use aromatically in your diffuser, on your skin or anything. If you don't know what's in the bottle, how do you know it's safe? Okay, let's dive into black spruce uses. So black spruce is known uh, historically, it was used by indigenous people of North America for skin health. This is part of their uh, spiritual healing and cleansing practices. 
oh gosh, I love the smell. I'm just gonna keep on sniffing it. Provide a soothing relief to the skin. I can use it straight on my face and it's calming and relaxing to the emotions. It helps reduce stress and helps to manage uh, stress promotes feelings of clear, easy breathing, of course, like many of the tree oils do. And it soothes minor skin irritation. Oh, it, it smells really grounding. Oh, it smells like you're in the forest. Green, fruity, woody. It's a gentler, um, it, it smells like pine, pine forest. Uh, I mean, if you've been up to Canada or in Northern America, you probably have experienced this smell just hiking in the woods. It can be used if you are nervous, if you're adrenal, like adrenal fatigue from stress, um, exhaustion, and you're feeling melancholic, then applying it to the forehead and above the kidney area or over the heart. I prefer, I do recommend diluting it with a fractionated coconut oil so that the skin has a longer time to absorb it. It is an aromatic compound and even if I leave this bottle open, it'll start to diffuse from here and it'll dissipate. It is a good idea to dilute it, but it can be used neat because it's a very gentle oil. For if you've got aches and pains, especially due to lack of circulation, it helps with circulation. So again, you want to apply to the area of concern, maybe the bottom of the feet, and repeat that two to four times a day, right? If you're feeling disconnected from your potential, thwarted emotionally, I would diffuse it and as well apply it to the pulse point so that you can smell it, use yourself as a personal diffuser. Mm. For lung issues um, and sinuses and moist kind of coughs it helps to add this to a, a warm cloth washcloth and you can place it on your chest and then inhale the vapors right for hormones and stress related skin outbreaks heart things going on you can use this along with a langy hormone stress related skin outbreaks then you put it on directly topically. I've actually used it on sunspots on my skin to help reduce that. Emotionally feeling a lack of self-acceptance and confidence. That feelings of insecurity, uh, indecisiveness, you can apply this um, over the heart and your pulse points and diffuse it. The wound healing, um, especially after surgery, you can apply it around, of course, not in the wound, but around the wound. Just dilute to sensitive areas of the aging skin or younger skin. And hormonal balance uh, for both men and women, uh, feelings of fear, self-doubt, self-acceptance, insecurity. Oh. Oh, good so emotionally it helps us from getting feeling halted to feeling acclaimed and it is the oil of stability mm. uh, do not use this one internally it is only for aromatic and topical use what does it blend blow the blend well with it blends well with basil blue tansy citronella copaiba douglas fir eucalyptus fennel frankincense marjoram neroli rosemary, spearmint, tangerine, wintergreen, ylang ylang, and of course more, but those are some suggestions. Enjoy your black spruce when you get it. Let me know what your questions are and let me know some of your experiences. I would love to hear those.